Hey everyone, this is Mike and welcome back to Thinking Your Way to Happiness and today we're going to talk about the self-defeating belief of achievement addiction and this is where a person believes that their worthwhileness comes from their achievements, their status, their income, their education, um, their looks <clears throat> and of course um, those are all external, those are things that we get ac externally and the real worth comes from inside, it's our integrity, our character, our principles, our values uh, which is not to say that external things don't matter. Of course they matter. They matter to us and they matter to um, other people. We don't live in a vacuum. But more often than not, it's the effort that we put into achieving those things. So the status and the income, um, the education, we work hard for that. And so those are external manifestations of internal uh, strengths and character and principles and integrity. So it's not that they don't matter at all, but we put too much emphasis on them. And our whole inherent worth cannot be based on external situations. It's who we are on the inside. And again, I don't want to minimize that the external doesn't have any impact. Of course it does. But your worth isn't dependent on that. Um, and think of how you, people in your life who have made you feel good. It's not because they're rich or because they have an education. It's because they treated you with kindness and dignity and respect. And that's what you remember from people. Uh, perhaps you have parents or grandparents or great-grandparents who didn't have much at all but you remember their kindness and generosity and love. That's what you remember. Um, and a famous quote is, you know, when you're, you know, when you're on your deathbed, the one thing you won't be thinking about is, uh, gee, I wish I'd spent more time at the office. Um, because you realize that that's not the most important. Now, one of the ways <clears throat> that we can challenge this is something called the downward arrow technique. It's a little complicated, but really what it means is we ask ourselves, the down, we keep going down and asking, what is the real issue here? So I'm, I think that my worth depends on my achievement. And they say, so what? Well, what, what if um, I, didn't have, I didn't achieve or have status? Well, that would mean I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a, a good person. Uh, well, okay, well, what would it mean if you weren't as good a person as you? Well, then people wouldn't like me. Okay, well, you keep going down, the down route. Well, what would it mean if people didn't like you? Uh, I'm a loser, I'm a nobody. Okay, what would, it, what would it mean if it was a loser? I can't be successful in life, uh, you know, I'm a failure. You keep going down to find out what's the real core fear. Is it really not having a certain status or achievement? Or is there something deeper underneath? And that's what you want to uncover. That's the real fear or concern. So what I'd like you to do during the week is just imagine if you have any of these self-defeating beliefs about achievement addiction, that your worth is based on other things outside of you, your status, your education, your income, your looks. And <clears throat> what does that really say? What, what is really going on there? And then, and then do the downward arrow technique. So what, what if you didn't have it? Then what? Well, people wouldn't like me. Well, then what? And keep going further down to find the root cause and root concern and root fear. Um, again, I hope this was helpful. If you, if you liked it, uh, please um, share this with other people. And I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.